Yep. Time to replace these bad boys. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And if this is your first time here to this channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. Or if you've been here before, or if you're already subscribed, welcome back. And today, I have my beloved Beats Studio headphones in hand, but unfortunately, as you can see, things have gotten a little worn out. These things are basically disintegrating in my hand, but that's okay. If you guys are heavy Beach Studio headphone users, if you wear these things every single day, kind of like I do, to the gym, chances are after a while, you will start to notice some signs of wear on these things. And the unfortunate thing is that these headphones are still in good shape. They still sound great, they're all in one piece, which is important, but if you're a Beach Studio headphone user, you will notice after a little bit of time, as you can see from my table here, the first thing to show signs of wear, those ear cups. Especially if you're wearing these headphones to the gym like I am or using them for any kind of physical activity where you might be having a little sweat around your ears. But instead of going out and getting these things repaired by an actual repair shop, which could be ridiculously priced, I do have a solution that could save you a lot of money, something we're gonna do today. In case you did not know, you could actually replace the ear cups of your Beat Studio headphones yourself. There are several different kits available for actually replacing the ear cups on your headphones. I will be sure to link down below a couple of affiliate links for my favorite packages. So if you want the same exact ear cup replacement package I bought for this procedure on these headphones right here, link below, check it out. But I figured this would make a pretty fun, cool video. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna replace the ear cups on my Beat Studio headphones. So let's dive right into it here. I'm gonna clear up the table. We'll get an overhead shot, get things started, show you step-by-step -step how it's actually done. All right, so here's a pair of studio headphones, and the first thing we have to do is actually separate the ear cups from the rest of the headphones frame. Now to do that, most likely your ear cup removal kit is gonna come with some kind of pry tool. This one came with a triangular one, and we're gonna use that to get things started. And all you're gonna do is insert the pry tool in between the area where the headphones meet the ear cups. Your goal here is just to carefully and slowly separate the ear cups from the headphones frame. You do have to be careful. Sometimes the pry tool that comes with the kit is not the best choice to get this job done. As you can see right here, I actually chipped off the corner. So instead, I'm just gonna be using a dull kitchen knife. So the same thing, I'm just gonna carefully and slowly insert the knife into that seal between the ear cups and the headphones, and I'm slowly gonna break away the adhesive ring that's below the ear cup itself. After a little bit of work, you will start to feel the ear cups separate from the rest of the headphone. And from that point, once you have a little bit of a separation, you could actually just pull apart the two and remove the ear cup from the headphones by just peeling it off. Now do make sure if you leave any kind of adhesive behind from that adhesive ring that you remove that from the headphones, you definitely want that to be gone before you install the new ear cups. We're gonna do the same exact thing on the other ear cup. And now we're good to go on both. Again, make sure that there's no adhesive left behind on the ear cup mounting area on the headphones itself. Next up, your kit should come with an alcohol prep pad. There's actually two of them. One is an alcohol prep pad, which you're gonna to use to wipe away any dirt or grime, and the other one's to dry it off. We'll take the first one and just start cleaning up the area to make sure there's no residue left behind or any kind of dirt. Then you're gonna to wanna to use the dry pad to wipe away any leftover moisture or residue, dirt, dust, any of that. Same exact thing, you're just gonna rub it around the mounting area on the headphones itself. And then, yep, same thing on the other side. So now that our mounting area is clean, we are ready to install these babies onto our headphones. You will wanna make sure you get the right ear cup and the left ear cup correct. You also wanna make sure you have both ear cups right side up. Before you actually remove the adhesive peel, you could practice lining it up. But once you're ready to go, peel that off, we're ready to mount the left ear cup onto our headphones. 
You're going to want to carefully match up the ear cups to the mounting area. There are a couple cutouts to help you make sure it's matched up correctly. You're going to want to line those up. And then once you do, just push around, adhere that adhesive to the mounting area. And then you're going to want to push down on the ear cup for about 10 seconds to lock that adhesive into place and to secure everything. You can actually test how good of a job you did by giving them a little pull, a little tug, and as long as everything's staying in place, you did a good job. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing on the right side. Just peel off that adhesive, being careful not to get any fingerprints on the actual adhesive area. Again, just make sure you're lining up the ear cup correctly with the headphone mounting area. And once you're good to go, do the same thing. Also, don't forget to push down for at least 10 seconds on the right ear cup to lock that adhesive into place as well. Now that your ear cups are installed, things should be good to go. But one last little touch I like to do is to clean these babies up with an alcohol prep pad. This is just like a lens cleaning cloth. All I'm gonna do is just open it up and wipe everything down. And then just like that, new ear cups, looking like new, good to go. Boom. From here, all you have to do is just take your originals and put them on a shelf, remember them forever, or do what I'm gonna do, throw them away. And the cool thing is some of these ear cup replacement kits actually come with a second set of adhesive rings for, I don't know, if you mess up the first time or you just wanna give it another go, so check on that. Otherwise, just like that with some new ear cups and a little bit of cleaning up here and there, these things look and feel almost like they did on day one when I originally bought them. The cool thing too, some of these ear cups you could actually replace the originals with are memory foam, so they actually feel a little bit better than the originals. And some of them even do a little bit better job of passive noise cancellation just based on the actual material used, so sometimes it's actually better to replace them and I'm loving it. Again, affiliate links and information to this ear cup replacement kit could be found in the video description box below. I am super excited now. I literally feel like I have a new pair of headphones that I could rock. It's the same pair of headphones, but it just, I'm good to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this ear cup replacement process. Is it something you've done before? Will you be doing it now for the first time? Comment down below, let me know. I'm gonna go hit the gym with my new pair of headphones. Well, not really, new ear cup pair of headphones. They feel and look like a new pair of headphones, but still the same headphones. I will see you guys in my next video. B-Mac? Nah, more like new beat smack. Although they're not new, they're not new, they're the same beats. And I really got to stop trying to put like different things in my name. It's just BMAC. No.